Welcome to Expert Advice, where you'll learn moving tips from the pros at United, the moving experts. In this video, we'll focus on how to pack your dining room. Before you start, it's a good idea to gather everything you'll need, including sturdy cartons of various sizes with flaps that can be completely closed, packing paper, paper pads, bubble wrap, tissue paper, packing tape for sealing to pack cartons, and felt tip markers for labeling. Now that we have everything we need, let's get started. When you're packing breakable items, you'll want to fill the bottom of your cartons with crushed paper. Wrap all pieces of china in clean paper. Using several sheets, start from the corner and wrap diagonally. Continuously tuck in the overlapping edges. A double layer serves well as an outer wrapping. Place them on their ends in a sturdy carton. Never pack them flat in the carton. Put the heaviest items in the bottom and build up in layers with the lighter items. Separate the layers with crushed paper. Wrap bowls in the same way as flat plates. Place the bowls in the carton in the same way as the plates, never on the flat side in the bottom of the carton. To pack the stemware, roll a piece of packing paper and wrap it around the stem of the glass. Then, wrap each piece individually in a layer of packing paper. Place the stemware in the carton in a row on edge. Silverware can be wrapped individually or in sets. If silverware is in a chest, you might want to wrap the pieces individually and reposition them in the chest. Or, Fill in all empty spaces in the chest with tissue paper. And wrap the chest in a paper pad. Vases and other fragile items should be wrapped in bubble wrap. And then a paper pad on the outside. Once a carton is completely full, seal it and label it with the contents. When packing anything delicate, be sure to label the carton as fragile. This side up. Good packing is essential to a stress-free move. With advice from the moving experts at United, you can rest assured that your valuables remain valuable.